Hey guys, it's Emma here and I am going to bring a new video today um, using Iggy Azalea's uh, makeup range. So I have a couple of bits here. So um, yeah, I want to do like a little review and stuff like that on these products. Um, yeah, and I obviously do like a makeup look. Um, I hope that you enjoyed my video. If you like my videos, give it a thumbs up. I've already primed my eyes and my face is actually prepped, so I've actually been missing. I've actually been mixing my Max Factor primer with it. It's actually like a number 17, sorry, it's a 17 and kind of like highlighter. So I'm kind of near the end of that, so I actually want to use that up to get rid of it. Um, so yeah, so um, I hope you like the video and I'm going to get started. Yeah, so guys, if you don't know, Iggy Azalea, she's an Australian um, uh, rap singer. So she's, I actually think she's called uh, time on her, her uh, kind of singing career at the moment. Um, but she's launched a makeup, um, as I said, range with BH Cosmetics. And um, now I think it's been available since the start of the year and um, but obviously it was only launched back in the summer and when I kind of ordered it, it did take time for it to come over and um, so I finally got it so I actually only got a f three products from the whole collection and um, I got an eyeshadow palette which is also two other ones available and um, I got the six color face palette um, which I'm actually quite surprised at the kind of uh, size difference because I thought the eyeshadow would be a little bit bigger than the this is actually like the contour kind of um, end of it so and then I just got like a lip gloss which you can see has a furry ball on it and um, so they are the three items but yeah so as I said there is two other uh, shades available in the eyeshadow palettes which could be um so i got the purple platforms and um, everything is basically reference to like the 2000s and um, yeah because you can even see on the lip gloss there's like a little charm um, and it's just as i said the furry ball but there is the blue fur and then um pink flares which you can also get in the eyeshadow palette this is actually it's called totally plastic by the way sorry um and it's like as you can see it's quite cool and then i went with the purple platform eyeshadows which are the nice purples which you can see i have been doing a couple of makeup and um, looks using it so with that that one there and um, the lip gloss one I got was, that was sexual, which as you can see, it comes out and this is kind of like a pinky shade there for that one. And there's actually four other shades in those um, lip glosses. There is other products, like there was a mirror, there was a sponge, there was eyelashes. Um, which is still available to get so this is just what I got for the moment um, but I do get uh, P. Louise um, the basic kind of like pastel colour shade uh, the lilac shade so I'm actually going to use that with this and just do a look and we'll see how it goes um, yeah so I'm going to start with the eyes and I'm just going to wipe that So I'm going to start with the eyes, the Revolution Concealer, which is the conceal and define just on my eyes today. I'm just going to grab a Peaches and Korean brush, which is the PC35. And um, so I'm just going to start with the eyeshadow. So basically there is no colors, names, names for the colors. This is a nine color shadow palette. It's really light as well, guys. The same with the other eyeshadow uh, 
It's the same with the other palette, but yeah, so I'm gonna just kind of crack on. And um, I think I'll get this dark going down here and then just start kind of work into the crease. And then I'll probably use the P. Louise lilac. So actually grabbing onto the eye really well. So I'll just keep piling that in. And then I'll just blend it out, bring it over. Actually blends really nice, but it's kind of starting to lose lose this bit of colouring. So I don't know whether it's because I sprayed my brush. But we'll just work it up and see how we go. And then just bring it over. Grab my pink wings, cosmetic base, which I really actually like the packaging. So what I'm going to do is just put a bit on the back of my hand. And, ooh. Okay then. So guys, if you can hear the wind, it's actually really, really windy over here. We're in the middle of a storm, so... What you gonna do? So I'm just gonna put that on the center. And make it that it's like a crease. Work back over my Iggy eyeshadow. Just see how it mix. You can see that some of it's like it's fading out. So I'm just gonna. As I said, it could be from because I use setting spray. Let's see. So I've just switched over to another brush because I want to see if the setting spray has done something to the powder. So I've just grabbed my Rebeluna uh, brush that I it's or twenty three. I'm just going to grab the same the same shade. And just dabbing into this corner, move around. So I'm just just wanted to see if I get the same effect from from the other brush with the setting spray. On it, like it's just fading out when you put it on. So I'm just appears to be going on light, lighter than what it's definitely fading out. So we'll just Keep going with the look. So I'll just get my lilac base. There is a little bit of a follow. Just 
So that's the two eyes done there, guys. You can kind of see there that it's just it's gone like really light in the center, and it's just whatever brush I use it does not unless it's supposed to go like that. But I don't think so. But um, so what I'm gonna do now is actually just put this lighter, lighter glittery shades over my um P. Louise face. I'm just gonna use it a few more times before I kind of give it that like um brush off about it because I just feel. Like, obviously, it's a little bit better on this eye with the satin spray, and then, unless the color is supposed to, like, come out a little bit more. But, um, yeah, so I've added that light glitter shade. So I'm just going to use my foundation now, which is just the Max, um, the Max Studio Fix one. So I kind of haven't really been getting any kind of new makeup, so um, I'm just going to apply that now. So I'm just going to apply it with my Luna Big Nisa. I'll just put a few drops on. And then just work it in. To the skin. I found it being gone back to this foundation for some looks. So I'll just spread that all around. Now, so what I'm going to use now is my Carter Beauty two shade and contour stick. I've actually like, I haven't put this down, so as you can see, it's just getting down to the bottom. So what I'm going to do is use this and then the palette for the the face palette. So I'm just going to mark this now. Draw it on like this. So I'm just gonna. Then what I'm gonna do is get the lighter shade and just here and so like as you can see, and it's so handy. It's so easy to use. So just on the edges of the eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to get a brush to do that. And just blend it all in quick and easy. Because the shade in that is actually medium, which I find the best. Up. Up, up, up. Does anyone have DVD makeup? And what do they find? As I said, I haven't really used it as it took a while to get. I think I also have to pay like international shipping as well so it's kind of just like mm, is it worth kind of ordering stuff at the moment. Just blend that all in. 
So that's all blended nicely. So what I'm going to do now is the face palette. So I'm going to just show you. As I said, like I couldn't really believe the difference of the the face palette to the eyeshadow palette. So it's kind of like. Maybe she had her own logic for it. So again guys, the packaging is really colourful. Totally plastic. This is totally snatched. And you're getting six colours in this one. I've actually used, been using this one. Kind of like a couple of times on a look. So what I'm going to do is just get my big... Real techniques, and I'm just gonna take this shade and just go underneath, and then it goes again. There's no shades, so it's an array, it's an array of brighters and contours that will get your entire uh, feet bomb. Dot com. So, let's use the shade. It does spread really easy. I was impressed. With this. I'll just grab this lighter one and I'll put this under my eye. I'll just dab it in. Brighten up that eye area. Just take a little bit and go down the nose. Yeah, so that's that bit there done. So I'm gonna just add some blush, which I actually picked up when I was away. So I spent a few days in Porto, which was nice. So let's just. So I picked up this uh, Kiko Keiko, and um, the Wonder Woman, which is a starlight blush. I actually seen this online, so when I kind of um, went out for like a walk around, I came across like a big shopping mall, as you do, and um, there was a shop in the shopping mall, the Kinko shop. So I had a look and got the blush. So it kind of is a Wonder Woman, the red. And then you can see you got a little mirror and the bush. So the bush is kind of like a big size. So I'm just going to use... I've actually used this a few times as well, which I really like the pink from. So I'm just going to... Dab it on. Nice. Nice blush, I think. Just tap, 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 tap. So that's nice little compact. So you can see there, nice size. So then what I'm just going to do is I am going to outline my lips, do my eyes, mascara, my eyes. So I'm just going to on the nose. The cheek. Bye. 
So guys, yeah, that's the look done, complete. Um, I hope you like it. I actually haven't been using eyelashes at all for a while. Haven't been using eyelashes either, guys, for a while. So I've just been kind of using my own eyelashes. But yeah, so that's the look finish. I hope you like it. And yeah, so as I said, if anyone has the Iggy Azalea products already and they've used it, you know, like my look. I hope everyone's staying safe. And looking after themselves and yeah. Here's your video. Bye.